Recognize this? This is what a heat exchanger or condensing unit in a condenser dryer looks like after a month of use. As you can see, it's covered in fluff, dust, and lint, all of which make your condenser dryer work harder and longer, which costs you time and money. I'm Bryn, and I'm gonna show you how to take care of your condenser dryer. Okay, so first things first, let's clean out the lint filter, which you find just inside the door, and it simply lifts out. And all you have to do is throw all this lot in the bin, then rinse this bit under warm water. For the best dryer performance and energy efficiency, you really want to be cleaning your filter after every cycle. If your machine has drum sensors, which is this metal bar on this dryer here, you want to make sure it's kept clean. Wiping it with a damp cloth every few months is all you need to do to keep it working properly. Onwards then to the heat exchanger, and on most machines these are really simple to remove. All you do is unclip them and slide them out. As mentioned at the start, keeping your heat exchanger clean is key. Warm, moist air passes through here from your tumble dryer and it gets cooled. And if the air can't get through, it won't work efficiently. Now, just like the filter, rinse under warm water. Rinse lengthways as it's in this direction that the warm air flows and the fluff builds up. Lastly, remember to regularly empty your reservoir. If it's full, your machine may appear to be working, but it won't be heating or drying your clothes. So there you have it, how to look after your condenser dryer. To order any replacement parts like filters or condenser units, or to book your local engineer, visit hotpointservice.co.uk.